So I think that we're going to be good to go over here. Let's release the ship. Let's go team. Bless. What is up the world? Ahoy, babies. It is the spookiest shipwreck Van Dam back again with some more hot Atlas action. Thank you so much for joining me, you scurvy and curvy dogs. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for all your support on the Ark video, uh, Atlas videos. Appreciate it very, very much. Hee hee hee. Make sure if you like this video, don't forget to show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. You guys, we are continuing building our brigantine. It's going to have a B name, obviously. We have Booty Bay. We have Big Brenda. We have Brenda. And we have a brigantine. We definitely need to name it something. I didn't even notice the ship is named the Booty Barnacle. So that's perfect. It is the Booty Barnacles. That is the name of the company. But yes, over here, we are continuing to do stuff and things. And I do believe I have a third speed sail. Are we not ready? Ooh, hot fiber action. We have that. You can't tell, but this is a fiber chest. It's colored in such a way. Uh, but you can't see because of our blue light. And I love the spooky blue light so much. Uh, yeah, three large speed sails, I think, is what we're going to go with on this guy. So, there it is. Like a so. And we should be able to place this last one now. Halfway in betwixt the two sails we've already placed, which would be halfway in the center of this opening here. Oh, oh, hmm. That's not like we can go perfectly halfway. One's going to have to be a little bit more forward, or I think a little bit more back. So we'll place that guy right there like that. And though it's not completely and perfectly even, they are pretty good. And that is all three of the sails that we will have on the ship. Uh, let me go up like so and just take a look at what she looks like over here. Oh, ah. So we're going to need to do, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things with this uh, ship. We're going to do custom sails, I think, on it. And I have to, I have some of the templates. Uh, okay. Somebody went ahead and gave us some of those. Uh-oh, it's Goliath. Hello, Avast. Stuff and things. Pirate talk. <laughs> I, you already got a parrot. I have a parrot. Blah, 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 blah. And we're back. One of the booty barnacles wanted to gift me a parrot, but we already have Savvy. Savvy? And uh, this is a girl parrot, level 33 now. Um, and so, dude, I love the blue light. It's so freaking cool. It makes everything look so eerie. And the parrots are so great, too. I'm so glad we got a parrot. Um, but we received another gift, and I have to come over here to show it to you. Remember in the last episode when I told you guys about having some extra points for our skills? Well, we no longer have those. We had to unlock hand-to-hand -hand combat in order to unlock the ability to learn Beast Mastery, which was in, was it in the, wait, where was it? I don't know. Yeah, it's in the survival tier. It was super, super weird. But we had to go ahead and do a bunch of things. Then we had to get on riding two, I do believe, unlocked so that we could hang out with this bad hombre. And they called him Wildfire. Yeah. Check it out. Let's go ahead and read this message. Gift for Slip from your Ragnarok series, a horse named Wildfire. He is leveled for weight and is very fast. The fruits of our labors from the ranch. So this is from Dr. Phil, who's been doing stuff and things on the ranch. He was up inside of this little deal over here. I don't even know what was up with that. Hello. Hello, person. Oh, uh, I think that's Zayaza Zim, a new member of the Booty Barnacles. We'll check him out. Is it a him? Are you a he? It is a he. Wildfire, level 71, tamed by the Booty Barnacles, gender male, aggression level passive, creature tier 2. We can go inside of Axis Inventory and see here, 500 HPs, 2,400 weight. Dude, this thing is like uh, one-sixth of a friggin' brigantine, and it looks like it eats veggies, so we're going to have to keep it fed. Um, but it weighs, hold on, what is the total weight of this? Food, uh, 2,000 weight. Dude, it only weighs 12? No, that can't be right. I don't know where I can see the total weight. Torpor melee damage. It can, can it only weigh 12? And I wonder if it counts as a crew member. So, thank you very much to the ranch team of peeps. I'm going to go ahead and destroy the sign stuff and things so that we can just demolish that. And then we'll demolish this over here as well. 
We'll take these resources down to the new brigantine to do stuff and things. Dude, was this was this horse? Dude, Slick's got a horse? These horses are uh they're excited to see each other. Slick's got a lady horse. But check it out, peeps. The horse has mad hops. It has huge weight. So you can do amazing stuff and things with it. And then, uh, like so. Yeah, that's right, baby. Left click, right click. You want to get kicked north? You want to get kicked right in the head? So um, let me go back over here, and we'll leave this guy over here. Uh, I wonder if it gathers any resources to speak of. Probably not, right? Okay, no. no. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, we just got... It gathers thatch. It's a freaking thatch machine. Hold on, let's back up here. Beep, beep. Wait, uh, uh. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, not really gathering anything there. Let's see about over here. Berries? Fronds? No. No, so it looks like it does do... A heat wave has begun. Cool down, take a dip in the water. Oh, great. Dude, this is new. What? Ugh. Ah, oh, the storms. No! Red sky at morning, sailors. Take warning. Um, so, yeah, we got a horse. It's unbelievable and amazing. I can't wait to take it on to the Brigantine. I think we should be able to take it on there. I do stuff and things with it. Can we make a turn? Oh, God, no. Does it swim? It swims! He's a swimmy horse. It's a seahorse. Ha, ha, ha. All right, hold on. Let's go also take a look and see what the heat's like. It's 56 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with a heat wave. The sky looks amazing. This is absolutely addition to the game. We have not seen heat waves yet. Um, and I'm disappointed. I'm not really big on any of the storms in the game. I've never been a huge fan of torpor or any of those things. Not torpor, but you know what I mean? The hot and cold system. You're constantly hot. You're constantly cold. Um, it just adds to the weird busy box that takes my attention away from what I think is the fun part of the game, which is just playing it. Um, I will say, though, that... Damn, is that a sexy sunrise. Like, the sexiest of sunrises. Oh, my God. It is beautiful, though. So that piece is good. Silver lining. That was a great piece that they added in. I'm very excited about that. I've never seen a sunrise look like that before. Um, all right. So we have the three sails set up now. Um, we're going to be continuing working on our brigantine. I do believe that we're going to need to um, get our stair situation taken care of here. Look at storage, get some cannons, and I want to also figure out what I'm going to do about raising up the front and rear for cannons in the front and back of the ship as well. Thank you again to Dr. Phil for the horse stuff and things. That'll be our bees, peeps. Okay, so we have the stairways as is done, and I think we're going to keep this very minimal. In order to keep, I really want the ship to be beautiful but in order to keep it low on weight, we're going to restrict the use of things like railings and stuff like that for now. Um, so we added just a double stairway right there to get down from the back. And in the front, we changed it up a little bit because these openings weren't staggered. So in order to save space, we kind of went like this and then we went like this. And you can make it to the top deck. So we're going to go ahead and place in ceilings all and around this area like so. And... The thing I think is kind of cool about the way that they've done ships is that they are evolving. You can change them. And so as things change in the game, we're able to change things on the ship as well. Um, I'm wondering if... Hmm. I was thinking about maybe leaving this open because it would look cool, but there's not a reason to do it. And we're going to be more kind of balancing... Oh, wait. There we go. We're going to be more balancing this ship towards kind of just being functional to start with. Um, there we go, like so, like so, and like so. All right, we're G's. So now we need one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12 of the medium cannons in order to get stuff and things going. Let's take a look and see. We can pop up over here and then down over into this early type area. We have a bunch of these cannons already made. There's wildfire just hanging out, being a wildfire. Uh, put these guys back like this. Pop inside of here. These are the cannons. Oh, wait. Those are the large. We don't want the large cannons. We want... Oh, crap. I don't know if I can make them. Hold on. Let's see here. Cannon. So there are the ship's cannons and the large cannons. We don't want the large cannons. We want the ship's cannons. I thought we had some already crafted. So let me just double check here and see what we have going on. No, that's bullets more hot bullet action actually grab a little extra bullets right there like that and then um that's our dies 
Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to craft them. Um, so we're going to craft up 12 of those cannons. Then also, we're going to be looking at, like I was saying, building the supports. So that means we're going to need maybe like 10 of these guys. And then we'll probably need some more ceilings too. We can take you over right now. We can look at how the supports are going to work. I think for now also, I might turn my auto chat box off for you guys. Go apply, save like so, resume. Let's go team. Uh, okay. So back over here is where we want to build the up area where we're going to be able to walk up and mount cannons in the back. Um, I'm feeling like it's going to have to be too high. So let's pop back over here like this and then like that. Jeez, I don't know if I like that, man. And then up here we can build. Yeah, that's how high it's going to have to be, though. We can start on a platform like so. You can see we get a little bit of lag right there, but we can leave this open and start on the platform for the rear cannons. Um, and then I don't know. I don't know about side cannon platforms. I was thinking about doing side platforms for large cannons. Um, I think in the rear here, we will put uh, probably three or four large cannons facing straight back. And in the front as well, we will do large cannons that face straight forward. Um, so, all right. I'm going to continue to work on it, guys. It's coming along quite nicely. Let's go, team. After dropping almost my entire inventory, I am able to carry two cannons. I'm able to carry two of these large cannons. They're 140 weight each. So we definitely need to make them count. I'm feeling like we want to do maybe three on the front here. And I want to get them so that they're aimed up nice and cool. So if we do like one like this, and then maybe we K over just a touch. They can only fire perfectly straight. So we're going to place, I think, maybe one here. Like so, and then, oh my god, dude, is it brass colored? Is that just the sun reflecting off of it? Oh, it's so cool. Like so and like so. Dude, what? I think we need to color them. I think they're oddly colored. They're steampunky right now. Oh, but they're so neat. Uh, I'm maybe thinking about putting smaller cannons. I don't know, man. Because these guys, like I said, they can only fire forward. So, just these two right there do look friggin' impressive. Um, the other cannons, if we were to do smaller ones, they do weigh less, and we can't fit more of them. So let's go ahead and pop over here like so and see about... Wait, where did I squirt those guys? Or where did those guys get squirted? These two guys like so and like so. And then let's talk about the back area, the rear of the ship. Uh, in my experience so far with Ships of the Damned, they seem to want to go into your rear area. Now, I know these are weird. There's no walls. I understand that they don't look as good as they probably could. Um, but again, remember that we are keeping this or trying to keep this very low weight. So I want to set this guy up like so. Feels good, team. Now we can go ahead and grab our other guy. And then set it up just like this. Maybe we'll just go with three in the back. I'm hoping that this guy is high enough. Yeah, I think it would be that it's not going to fire over there. Oh, yeah. So, okay. We can grab another one of these guys here. And then really quickly, if we pop into this inventory and grab a bunch of, well, let's do this. We'll squirt this over here. We'll grab that like so. Pop inside of these guys. Drop off this metal. Pop inside of here. Talk about cannons. In order to make the small ones, we need more hide. Let's go ahead and... Get some hide out of here. Like I said, no. Right there. Okay. We'll grab a bunch of that to squirt inside of here. And then I want to see what the difference in the weight is. Pop those guys in there. Cannons. Bam. How much do you weigh? A hundred. So, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of a difference there. Not a huge difference, but definitely there is one. So... Probably trying to keep the big cannons to a minimum. Like I said, they, they do do more damage, but they just fire straight. So I think it makes it a little bit harder for them to target stuff. With NPCs on them, though, I do believe that they will be very accurate. Uh, so let's just make sure. Oh, can we? Okay, it looks like. Yeah, that's as far over as we can go. Like this. Is that about midway in between the two? Feels good. Can we go forward just a touch? No, don't turn. No, don't turn. Uh, he's done it. All right. Look at these guys, man. They're so cool. 
So we can't probably put an ammo box like down here underneath somewhere uh, for ammo for these guys. And then over here, I'm feeling like maybe we'll do two of the smaller cannons to kind of angle them. So if we get these guys over here like this and we angle them mm, maybe back over here so there's room, I think that would be pretty cool. Let's try to get it nice and placed like uh, that. So at least that will be kind of a diagonal deal right there. And then I think for everything else, just again, to save on weight, we're going to go with the smaller cannons and we're going to go with the cannons uh, underneath the deck. I think that would be our best bet. So that means I have a lot of crafting to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the rest of the cannons done. That will be our bees, peeps. And we're back, ladies and gentle peeps. I think we're getting close here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some flint. How much do we need? Uh, 40 stone. We have stone. Uh, let's grab some hot thatch action. And 10 wood. Like so. Craft up the cooking pot. I actually have ended up using every single skill point that I have now. Um, I just uh, uh, unlocked the basics of cooking so I could get the cooking pot. So I got to get something to cook in besides the campfire. We ready to go over here? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me pop inside of there again so we can put these guys away. No, not the cooking pot though. Slip. There you go. Feels good, team. All right. So, and then inside of here, let's make sure we don't have anything weird. I think we're going to probably need a couple of these bad hombres. And, oh, you know what? I haven't got crap, dude. Mm. Oh, I felt No, why? Okay, this has been my life for the last hour and a half or so while I've been doing stuff and things. Uh, let me see here. Let's go inside of here like so. And then we need these. So these. How many can we make? Seven. All right. We'll have those get made while we're doing this. So let me show you all the things we've got on the ship now. Uh, we added the lantern lights. Now I need to add a lever. You can pin code those and then add a lever. And you can turn them on and off with just the lever. So we're going to get into those sorts of things in the future for sure. Let's turn those guys off down there. And then down under here, you can see we've added... Well, uh, another thing that I added were the ammo crates. So you had the ammo crates right there. Those go ahead and auto-fill the cannons with ammunition. Those are GTG. But under here, we've added the larder box. We have a smithy right here. We have the ship resource box. We have resource boxes for storage stuff and things. Now I got to find a place for this cooking pot. I'm hoping that it fits right here. It kind of does. We're going to call it good. The only problem with the cooking pot is that if you cook in it and then you stand above it, it actually will burn you up here, which is kind of silly. But remember, we're going more for form than function or more for function than form. Uh, we are going to need to put a bed somewhere inside of here, which I'm a little bit bit i don't even know where i would want to put it i'll tell you what maybe we'll squirt a bed right here and then when we get a second accommodation i think eventually we'll do a second one we'll put another bed right over there so it's matchy matchy all of our cannons are down here like so so that is gtg but the only other thing i can think we need our crew i need at least three to start off with plus some people to help get us some other crew members we'll need some people to man the cannons um i do have cannonballs some cannonballs in here. Oh, and we added the ship's wheel. Actually, if I click on that, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, we have five of the large cannonballs and 216 of the smalls. Um, oh, yeah, we got to paint this bad boy, too. Oh, my God, so much to do. We have to paint this guy. We have to paint the sails. And uh, we need the minimal crew to be brought over. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. It's quite a process making a ship. It really, really is. Uh, let's talk about the ladders that we were making. I think we're going to need more like around 30 of these probably. Uh, in order to craft more, we're going to need some hot fiber action. Do we have any in our hot fiber action chest? We do. Dude, somebody's out there doing stuff and things. I think somebody filled that up for me. I don't know. I didn't notice anybody over here. Friggin' booty barnacles are unbelievable and amazing. How many can we make now? 26. All right, that should be good. Uh, let's pop these 16 on while we have time. We'll pop these guys over here like so, and then like so. And we just place them that high right there. Then we can climb up and do the rest of them. I'm very excited about the the boat, man. I'm so excited to live my life at sea. Whoa, whoa are we under attack? What the crap? Is the boat under attack? Is there a ship of the damned? <laughs> Now, I think we can only place these guys on the side here. 
So I am going to place three on each side. Kind of a waste of three because we only need one side, but it'll look a lot better. Uh, do you think we can? <laughs> He's done it. All right. So then over here, we're going to have to do the same thing. And we're out of ladders. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm gonna take oh, I did it. He's done it. Um, so I'm feeling like, oh, maybe that was what was going on. Uh, Paladin was down there maybe attacking something. So I think that we are going to go ahead and take a look at getting our horse on the ship. Why wouldn't you? I'm hoping this is actually a thing that we can do. We have we have stairs. So we should be able to just stairs right up and do this. Maybe just really. Ah! Okay, close. We've got it. Okay. And then turn. Uh, 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 uh. We got a horse on board. There's a horse on the ship. It's amazing. I can't even believe that we have a, a horse. And the weight on him is so, so cool. All right. Let's pop over here and grab the rest of our ladders. 20 shit. Oh, 21. It's not even done. What? You're not done crafting them all up? Come on, man. We'll just grab the 22 and come back over here and see. That may be enough to get done what we need to get done here. So like this. Dude, we're, we're in a battle again. I heard something go down and then we're in a battle again. Like so, we have eight. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crap, we need nine. Let's go get one more. Like so, and we'll just grab the rest. We can always just put them on the ship somewhere. Somewhere out of the way. Uh, we definitely need to take a second to make sure this guy gets painted up too. Uh, some of the things, from what I understand, are best painted before you launch the ship, like the ribbing and such. Uh, but the sails, I do believe we can do at any time. Let's go over here. Like so. He's done it. Oh, yeah. All done. Nailed that ace to cape stop. I bet we don't, we don't even take damage. Okay, a little bit. A little itty titty bitty bit. Eh. Oh, didn't want to fall off. All right. So the checklist, I think, now only includes dying. We have some blue dye inside of here. We have a huge amount of it. So let me put this. Oh, we can't put that in there. Let's put these guys away like so. And then we're going to get the sails dyed up. Um, I also need to go over to Big Brenda and bring over at least three crew. And then I think our maiden voyage on this lady will be uh, maybe with some crew from the community just to get some AI on board. Um, but yeah, I'm going to paint the ship and then we're going to be ready to launch, ladies and gentle peeps. Okay, it looks like the, what is that? The YHMAS Moore Square again is coming in for a landing. I've not seen this ship before. I don't know what's on there. It's a booty barnacle ship. They're part of our deal. That's cool. But, any hoozle, I think that I'm ready to at least launch. I brought three low-level crew over from Big Bertha, and I think I have the perfect name. It's a B name, and it, it's, it means something to me, so I think that we're gonna be good to go over here. Let's release the ship. Let's go, team! Bliss. Bliss is the name of the ship, ladies and gentlemen. Our sexually attractive, unbelievable, and amazing brigantine Bliss. See, my dad's been in a band for about my whole life, and uh, the name of his band is Misty Bliss. Um, and for a while there, they kind of reinvented themselves and named it Bliss. Oh, just yeah. Bliss. Is that a new galleon? A second galleon that's been crafted by our unbelievable and amazing taming regiment? The taming peeps did it? I think that it is. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to head out to meet them. Sails ahead. Look at them dropping down our color code. Oh, this guy moves quick. Okay. Okay. Turn our sails like so. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> we got to be really careful. Hold on. Let me go ahead and turn my voice volume back on so I can talk to these guys. Oh. She's built for speed and war. Peace out, peeps. The galleon looks amazing, guys. <laughs> Just slip.
Look at this thing, man. It is unbelievable and amazing. Our ship Bliss. I love the color-coded sails. I love how beautiful it is. Oh my God, you guys. And it's fast, so fast. All right, first order of business, turn testing. If we go to turn, uh, she's a bit of a fat ass. It doesn't turn that fast, but it turns a heck of a lot faster than anything else we've ever had. If we hit R, we can open all of our gun ports up like so. Oh my God, you guys, look at it. Look at it in the setting sun. It's so friggin' beautiful. Bliss, our amazing boat is here, and I cannot wait. Tonight on the stream, well, I think it will for you guys, it'll be yesterday. But, um, yeah, we'll probably be taking it out to kill, take on, and annihilate some ships of the damned. We want to get some really good crew members on here so we can do this on our own. If there's doesn't happen to be other people around to do stuff and things with, uh, looks like, hold on. Dude, the Brigantine's leveled up! Turn our sails like so. Dude, she is so hot. Hold on, let's pop down over here. Look at it, man. We got our horse on here. We got our frames. We only have 6,000 weight. We can definitely hold more stuff and things. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And thanks again. You know, I didn't do this by myself at all. Um, these these ships do take quite a lot of resources to build in a huge amount. Of, uh, uh, thank you. Go out to the Booty Barnacles for helping out with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pump 0.8 accommodations. What is that? Does that even make sense? What's the least common denominator? It should be 1 or 0.5. Uh, we get 200 weight on this thing and a little bit of sturdiness. Additional crew, I think we'll keep it for what it is right now. You know what? I haven't even looked at what the crew is like yet. Uh, oh, a total of 16 crew only. Wow, that's not going to be enough. Let me see here. 1, 2, 3. It's 12. Wait, there's 24 cannons down here. Right? No, no, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 cannons. Pardon me. 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're going to need at least 19 crew in order to fully crew the ship. Uh, for now, though, I do believe, I think, if we go into ship options, how much crew do we get? 0.8? That doesn't make any sense, wild card. Come on, man. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to pump 0.8 crew. Uh, let's go with additional accommodation and then it goes 0.8 and then 1.5 interesting so at least common denominator would be three so that way we can pop one more bed on here uh but yeah our frames are great our life at sea is going to be amazing i cannot wait to do it but you know what we got to do now we got to head back to port man we got to make a hard to starboard deal let's turn right back around i'm interested to see how well this holds up oh and before we go I think you'll see on the stream. Another thing we figured out with our galleon is we're going to make some additional planks. Look at how fast they turn because I have the additional um, the statistics, the better stats for that. That's amazing, man. But um, yeah, making extra planks and gun ports to keep on your ships is way more effective because they only weigh like, don't tell the devs, but they only weigh like 20 and the materials to make them weigh uh, a huge amount more. Um, but look at this guy. So, so cool. Like I said to you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget. Show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff of things be with you.